dwindling, and that how do you make uh, both your theologies and this, the experience within church relevant to people today so that they're drawn into it, so that they want to, they don't feel like they have to go to church because they're supposed to go to church, but they're going to church because it's meaningful and it's relevant to them today. To me, um, my study of world religions has been an enlightening process for me. I mean, I didn't um, study world religions at Oxford and then spend time traveling through India and then become a Hindu or a Buddhist. Um, but I've taken wisdom from their writings. I've taken some of the practical teachings of some of the meditative practices, incorporated them into my own spiritual life. And so I think part of the step is education, is understanding, open our minds to some of these other traditions. For me, it took uh, understanding Eastern traditions and some of the very different ways in which God was conceived, and then Eastern spiritual practices, but then coming back to Christianity and finding some of those exact same practices, those exact same teachings about the divine, about God that you might read in the Bhagavad Gita in uh, Hinduism, seeing some of those same descriptions uh, within Christianity. See?